This video will show you how to search Academic Complete to find resources for your research. Academic Search Complete is a very useful database for finding academic articles, magazine articles, news articles, and much more on a variety of topics. There are basically two types of databases, general and subject specific. General databases have resources on a variety of topics. Subject specific databases have material covering specific topics or a specific type of resource such as natural sciences, medicine, psychology, statistics, or streaming films. To get to Academic Search Complete, click on the Databases and Articles button from the library homepage. Then scroll down from the list of databases and click on Academic Search Complete. If you're off campus, you'll be asked to log in with your one login. This is the same username and password you use to get into Canvas. Here we are. Now let's do an advanced search. You want to click on the advanced search link here. Now we have our different search boxes. I'm going to do a search for bullying and teenagers. Notice that I put these search terms into different boxes because they are different ideas. I have almost 2000 results. But if I use truncation and Boolean operators, I can get even more. I'm going to change teenagers to teen with an asterisk. This will give me all variations after the word teen. Notice too that the term adolescence comes up a lot in the title of these articles. This is another term you can use for teens and one often used in academic articles. So let's add that one too. Since this is the same or similar idea, we're going to put it in the same search box as teen and divide them using the Boolean operator OR. Notice that Academic Search Complete will give you some suggestions of search phrases you can use. You can use your suggestions or you can come up with your own. Using these search terms together like this, we'll search for resources that have the words bullying and teen, bullying and adolescence, and bullying and teen and adolescence. So let's do our search. So now we have over 4,000 results. I'm going to show you some ways you can filter those results so you can find resources that are more relevant to your research topic. You can do that by using the tools under Refine Results to the left-hand side over here. So first we're going to go under limit 2. If this full text box is not checked, you're going to want to check that box. This limits your results to just items that you can get access to. Another useful one is limiting to just scholarly peer-reviewed journals. But we want to see what other types of resources we have, so I'm going to exit out of that limiter. You can also limit by date. So let's limit to just the last 10 years. You can adjust the dates based on the needs of your topic and assignment. You can also limit by source type. For example, you can limit to just magazine and newspaper articles. Even if you've already limited to just peer-reviewed articles, you can also limit to academic journals as well and not get book reviews, as many peer-reviewed journals also have book reviews, but these aren't peer-reviewed articles. So this is also another way to limit to just peer-reviewed articles too by going to academic journals. You can also limit by subject. Both of these subject limiters are useful. Subject the source term can be very useful for finding alternative search terms. Subject is also useful for narrowing your results to be more specific. So for example, you might want to limit to just mental health and psychological effects, and maybe mental health of youth. Let's take a look at one of these articles. So always, always, always save a resource that you think might be useful. This is very easy to do. You can either save it to your Google Drive, you can email it to yourself, 
and you can use whatever email you prefer, either your school email or your personal email. This is useful too because you can also send the MLA, APA, Chicago, there's a bunch of other options, citations to yourself. You can print the article. You can also download it to your computer by going to save here. You can also get the citation for the article by clicking on cite and scrolling down to the citation style that you need. There's APA, Chicago, and MLA. Translate the article into a lot of different languages by selecting the translate icon. Go to choose language. You can choose whichever language you prefer and then click on translate. This isn't a perfect translation, but it can help if you're having trouble with a certain phrase or paragraph. This article you can get in either HTML or PDF. Sometimes the articles only come in one or the other option. If you can't find the article when you're scrolling down, look on the left-hand side for the PDF or outside link to the article.